Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of History Underground. Now I know you typically, you kind of find me in places that, you know, they have these elaborate museums, a lot of artifacts, but that's not the only history. On this episode, we're gonna talk a little bit about my history and the history of Colonial Beach, Virginia, which actually is my hometown. I'm here with coach Steve Swope. He's been teaching for... 34 years. 34 years. As a matter of fact, what you're seeing right now where we're standing, he taught me how to play Red Rover. And if <laughs> any of you guys know what that is, that was painful. <laughs> <laughs> so this town has a lot of remarkable history. Uh, it was actually a hiding spot for pirates. And then later on in the early 1900s, on through kind of the mid 1900s, it was called the Playground of the Potomac. You would have uh, notables from Hollywood fly in just to spend weekends here. You had Al Alexander Graham Bell's summer home was here. So there's a tremendous amount of history that I really invite you to come and find out for yourself. But today we're talking a little bit about something different. We have the opportunity with Tory Smith, who NFL football player, and coach Steve Swope, are giving us the opportunity to have a new rec center. Something where the kids and the adults can come, they can exercise, they can have fun, and it'll really, really help this town move forward. So, uh, Coach, tell us the details about how people can reach out and help get this facility done. Well, we live in a town right here now that's uh, a little bit void with uh, activities for teenagers. And we used to have a very famous blacktop right down the hill here that used to be attached to our old school system, which no longer is sitting there. So right now our town is without a playground area. So with the help of Tory Smith, who was born and raised here in Columbia Beach as a drifter, who has gone on to do great things in the NFL, including win two Super Bowls, and one with my favorite team, the Philadelphia Eagles, where he treated me to the greatest sports event of my life by going to that Super Bowl last year. Tory is coming back to his hometown and wants to give back. And right where we stand is a very famous PE field that we used to come out here with many of you people and play soccer, we used to play flag football, we'd play some softball, we'd run our miles and do our fitness testing out here. Many great memories on this field. It's always been a sort of little league field slash practice field for our middle schools, uh, softball and baseball teams. But right now it's just sitting here dormant. And we've looked around the town to try and find a centrally located spot to put this new playground, this rec park that Tory Smith wants to donate back to his hometown. And this is now going to be the site. This is the water tower field where Tory, along with some of our collaborated efforts to raise money as a town here to help build this, this is going to be right here for our next generation of kids to come. So the way that you guys can help is you can come down to the beach, you can talk to coach, you can uh, send donations to the Colonial Beach Foundation. Okay, uh, everybody in this town is so on fire right now with chipping in, donating, coming up with creative outside the box thinking for some fundraising. Uh, right now, we're, we're collecting um, $150 will get you a brick that will, will start the entrance way coming right on the end of this facility. Uh, we have some signage uh, for sponsorship and we start with 400 as our bronze sign, going to 1,000 for our silver sign, to 2,500 for our gold sign, and to 5,000 plus for our platinum sign. And people are donating out of their wazoo right now. Everybody's on board. I'm going around town. People are taking pictures with me for $5 as a little fundraiser. I thought up outside the box, but we've got people selling crabs in this town. We've got people who are gonna put on dances. We've got people who are doing benefits. We've got raffles coming up. We've got donations coming from everywhere. So what Tory wanted to get across was, he's gonna put about 185,000 of his own money into this park. But he wants the town to come up with another 100,000 so that we'll have ownership. This town will take ownership in this park right here and everybody will have a chance to have their name up over here somewhere to be proud to ride down Lynn Haven, to ride across here at, at Wilder and to look over here and see the families and the teenagers and the adults that are going to be playing out here. We haven't had a tennis court in the town of Columbia Beach since 1964 when the first one was erected over there on the old blacktop. That didn't last long. 
We're getting two brand new tennis courts right here behind us. Two state-of-the-art basketball courts with glass backboards. We may have a skate park in here. We're gonna have a playground area, a gazebo. Lots of good things right here for everybody to enjoy and bring everybody that always used to come to Clunia Beach back to Clunia Beach so they can enjoy the playground of the Potomac. Right, Sam? Absolutely. I, my heart is right here in Colonial Beach. It always will be. Drifters for life. Drifters for life. Hang it right here. And we're out. <laughs> How cool was that? It's not a wolf.